Thank you so much, John and Junior. That was really impressive, and I'm so glad that we had a chance to show that to our brothers and sisters in the lower 48. Some may have never even heard of the Native Youth Olympics, and I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much for doing that. Well, I also just wanted to thank all of the presenters that uh, came today and devoted your time and energy to presenting for our summit. I'd also like to really thank everybody who stuck with us throughout the whole day. Even if you popped off and on throughout the day, we thank you so much for your continued support. Um, a lot of time and energy has gone into this summit, and uh, it's just a pleasure to be here with you today. I did want to remind you all of the survey that we have going on. We have a full, um, we have eight folks who have responded to that survey, and we've received some really great comments just from those eight people. But our goal, remember, is to get all of our tribes to, to be represented and heard. We have some really great questions on there that will help us um, form the way that we communicate with all of you. And it will heavily influence the way that our website is designed, the way that we exchange information with each other, and the way that you participate in the R Talk. Some of the questions or some of the suggestions we heard already on the survey is that the R Talk leaders of specific regions should make quarterly meetings with their regions, tribes. The other suggestion that I wanted to share is that we'd like uh, somebody wanted us to make meetings available for tribal participation and to host listening sessions with EPA. So we will take these comments to heart. We will definitely discuss how we can incorporate the comments that we hear from our tribes into the way that we do business. I also wanted to highlight the film festival. There's a tab at the top of your page um, on the live feed that goes right to all of our our videos that we will be showing. Some of them we won't show in our programming, so you'll have to actually go to that tab to access the films that were submitted by some of the folks um, from our region. There is one in particular that I wanted to highlight, that is the Eagle and the Condor film, that's only available for one week. And so the, the link will expire after that, and that's just because of the rights that we had um, purchased was only for a short time. It is a, a rather longer uh, film as well, so give yourself a good hour to an hour and a half to watch. Lastly, I wanted to highlight tomorrow's program. We feature the Region 10 EPA Administrator, Chris Laddick, in multiple sessions tomorrow. Those include a keynote, an Alaska Tribal Leader Roundtable, with the RTOC and NTOC Alaska reps, and a session on Pebble Mine. We'll also be featuring our second RTOC film on the importance of salmon. We invite you now to stay for the youth programming, and I'll turn it over to our youth coordinator, Maka Montour-Paki. <laughs> 